So project management, we're going to look at some more project management tools in this uh, lecture, uh, which I call Project Planning Version 2. Lecture 3 looked at some project management, project planning tools, um, and I called that Project Planning 1. So the purpose of this lecture is to introduce the second set of project planning tools, and we're going to be looking at estimating durations of tasks in this set of video clips, um, and making sure that those estimates are good, accurate estimates. We're going to be looking at critical path analysis or network analysis to identify the critical path in the project, and we'll be looking at Gantt charts. Here's the project life cycle, and we're in the middle of the preparation phase. The senior management have given us the authority to implement this project, and they're saying, go away, create some project management plans, tell us how you're going to do this, so we're preparing to deliver the project, and part of that preparation is creating the project management plans. So, the tools we're looking at in this set of video clips. We'll talk about estimating in general, in particular, estimating durations. We'll look at critical path analysis, we'll look at Gantt charts, or we'll look at uh, the concept of lead and lag. Now, a reminder about why we're creating project plans. And part one of this was in lecture one, uh, which said we need to understand what we're doing, we need to understand who's doing it, and we need to understand how much it costs. We need to understand the sequence of activities. And we're now going to build on that by saying, well, how long does each task take? So therefore, how long will the whole project take? And where is this thing called the critical path? Very often when we calculate the total duration for a project, it exceeds the amount of time we're given. So we're going to look at ways of reducing the total project time. And we're going to look at Gantt charts as a method of communicating the project uh, to illustrate the project timings. So the project plan um, likened to a map for a journey, a Gantt chart can be likened to a map for the project plan.